So we're here at the Oak Grove Cemetery, and I was entered, shown this, um, and thought I would come back out and check it and see, learn more about it. It looks like 1897 is going to be one of the earliest There's a lot of them that are unmarked. It's starting on the front row. John Thomas Nelson, February 12th, to, of 1854 to December 26th, 1920. And Dewey James, 1901 to 1921. And this one's unmarked, but it has a V. And this one's Maddie R. Lilly Gurney, August 9th, 1897 to January 10th, 1921. And it says gone home in the top of this our loved one. And another unmarked. And then here's one that the top is gone. And this one I can't read it, but there is has been an in, uh, engraving on it at some point. And this one is G.W. Beasley, born April 21st, 18, 18, and died October 14th, 1911. And Elizabeth Beasley, born April 22nd, 1829, and died May 6th, 1911. Another unmarked. An unmarked. An unmarked. These look smaller, like they might have been children. Hard to tell. And this one's Betty, wife of J.D. Ford, born 30, December 30th, 1883, and died May 17th, 1910. She was a kind and affectionate wife, fond mother, and a friend to all. And again, it has the emblem. Some are, the hand is over, and then the other, depending on who passed first. And this one is Thelma Viola Harris, February 20th, 1915, to January 12th, 1917. And then March. And this one's Ferdy May Harris, January 20th, 1912 to September 20th, 1st, 1914. And March. And this one's Susie, wife of Jay Harris, 
for in September 15th, 19th, or 1856, and it's been broken. So I can't see. what's on the back. And again we have trees that represent everlasting life. And this was Annie Welch. 1884 to 1912. And this one's unmarked, but it does have an HA. And I can't read this one. Looks like 1908. And this one is Cassie Keller, born June 9th, 1903, and died. 1919. There's been a new headstone placed, so it is Cassie Keller, 1903 to 1913. Again, unmarked. And this one is Johnson J. Roberts, October 14, 1849 to February 26, 1927. And this is fenced, so I would say that this is the edge. Several unmarked at this end, so this probably is the old one of the older part of the section of it. And this one is a new marker that's been put down. Dizzy Biggs died 1933. And another evergreen tree. And this one is Emma, wife of J.W. Webb, born May 3rd, 1890, 
died May 13th, 1915. But I don't have a flashlight with me, so I can't see what the bottom of it says. It may show up on the video more than I can read it from here. I can make out kind mother and friend. Tall. And this one is Sarah Peterson, mother of Emma Webb. So she would be her mom. And then there is a headstone marker that says HW. And then there's one back here that says Farrell Esslinger, 1911 to 1947. And there is a handmade, but I can't make out the letters on it. It's faded. And this one's Sam James. No dates. Several unmarked. And there's one here that says Harvey Borders, March 10th, 1915 to April 6th, 1915. And here's another one, Thomas Francis Medlock, September 12th, 1942. Dites October 24th, 1942. I'm going to have to look up some of the history on this. This one is Wilma Tabor, born 1824 and died 1930. And I can't make this one out, the last name. Looks like Fielder. And this one is Joan Fielder. No dates. And this one's Linda Fielder. This one is Lily M, daughter of AJ and S.C. Williams, 
Born October 2nd, 1897. Died January 8th, 1910. And then the fifth storm, fifth stone is LMW. And this one is Martha Ann Harris, 1865 to 1935. And this one's Tommy Felder. 1899 to 1922. And this one is Hazel, daughter of M.E. and A.M. Holiday. Or Holiday. Hard to make it out. Born July 2nd, 1839, died November 5th of 1909. And this one is William R. Esslinger, died 1931. Charlotte Esslinger, 1879 to 1934. And I can't make this out. I can't make one. cannot make all this one out either without my light. It makes Shethro fit better on the camera. Looks like the date's not, um, died This one is Grub, Randall L., December 8, 1976 to January 20th, 2002, and Angie C., 19, or January 6, 1980 to October 13, 1987. It's very peaceful. A little next to the road.